This is a talk about spell dynamics, the spell dynamics color of turquoise. Good evening, this is Wake Up with a talk about spell dynamics. This time it's the color turquoise. Turquoise is a second tier color that has been misdescribed. Let me say a few words about turquoise in the second tier before I get into the description of the color. Most people who have written books about spell dynamics or made videos or talks about it have been at the time of their writing or talking been centered in orange, green or yellow. Including Claire Graves, Don Beck, Christopher Cohen and Ken Wilber. None of them was centered in turquoise so they couldn't very well talk about it. Someone who is centered in orange or green has no knowledge at all about it and someone who is centered in yellow has a little knowledge about it because it's the neighboring or next color. About half or two thirds of what has been said and written about turquoise belongs to green, yellow and coral. Especially for green centered people Turquoise is everything that a green-centered person imagines spirituality is all about. The big difference between green and turquoise is that while well, green people dream and think and theorize about it, turquoise can do it. The big difference between yellow and turquoise is that yellow-centered people are trying to amass knowledge. They are still on the search seeking after truth, while well, turquoise has begun to find it and act upon it. And with action, I mean non-action. Actually, it's intuitive knowledge put into practice by non-action, by Wu Wei, as the ancient Chinese called it. You feel connected with everything, and you feel that there's some kind of input other than your mind, other than your thoughts, emotions, instincts, and so on. It's called intuition. It's a social color, so you start looking for other like-minded people. Although like-minded might not be the right word. Like-souled people. Soulmates. Others who you can play with. A friend of mine who is centered in turquoise said he feels like he's sitting in a sandbox and waiting for other turquoise children to come and play. In actual fact, this is the beginning of human adulthood. Beige to green is human childhood and yellow is kind of adolescent and turquoise and so on is human adulthood. Your ego is complete and you're ready to let go of it even and your soul starts developing your spirit, your heart, whatever you want to call it. You're entering a new world and from this point on awakening is possible or more likely to happen. Claire Graves, the founder of Spell Dynamics or of the Levels of Human Existence, which was the precursor to Spell Dynamics, called it the intuitive existence. It's the first go with the flow color. Let's see what Claire Graves says about turquoise, the intuitive existence. One aspect is the readiness for change. This is the first time you're really ready for deep changes. You lose the fear of the ego dying, which is a necessity for real change. And also that everything we knew about before might be wrong and whatever comes now might not be possible to put into words. I quote, adjust to the realities of one's existence and automatically accept the existential dichotomies as they are and go on living. So here the first truths about duality start to unfold before you and you're starting to free yourself of duality bit by bit. At the same time you accept things how they are and that you might never be totally free of them. 
Then I quote again, sacrifice the idea that one will ever know what it is all about and adjust to this as the existential reality of existence. Meaning, um, once you realize that all is Maya, you're a little bit free to play with the system, with the rules of Maya that you start to see. But as long as you're still alive, you're bound to Maya. These two forms of surrender develop because the ego is complete and starts to become unnecessary. So you can accept how things are and see how things are and respect how things are. And you don't see life as dangerous and hostile anymore. Turquoise is the second tier version of purple. So it's a very, very social interactive color. You really, really need other people to exchange your experiences with or to teach them. This is a color that is very inviting to teach others. But this is of course a trap. Also, once you start teaching, it's very dangerous to fall back into yellow or green. Teaching is one of the biggest ego boosts. But in absence of other turquoise people, you might see this as the only possibility that you start teaching, thus form a group around you and hope that as many people as possible get into turquoise as well. There is no turquoise society, so it is very difficult to get into turquoise and it's very difficult to find other turquoise people. There are probably only a few ten thousands, less than one percent of humanity. And there are no societies where you can experience it. No large societies. There's Oroville in India where you can experience it, although of course not everyone there is turquoise, only a small part as well but percentage-wise more. All other similar societies are more religious and thus have a strong blue influence. Or shamanistic and they have a strong purple influence. There's of course uh, all these rumors about secret societies of enlightened people like the ones Gurdjieff talked about. But once you're in turquoise, you see this is all nonsense. There's no secret societies of enlightened or awakened beings and they have no there is no purpose in being secret it's the other way around they really would like to to help others up to turquoise and beyond because that's what turquoise is all about finding others of the same ilk there's no more sense of competition so there's no point in having a secret society about it that's nonsense. That's a very blue idea. Red, blue, orange. Okay, let us have a look at Don Beck and Christopher Cohen's book, Spiral Dynamics Mastering Values, Leadership and Change, which in itself is a very orange title. Also, the idea that is a that it is an upwards spiraling ladder, kind of, is very first year. Claire Graves who was centered in yellow, actually describes it as an onion model. Every color is another layer of onion. So, uh, the turquoise memes. Blending and harmonizing a strong collective of individuals. Partly right. As I have been explaining already, it's about finding people who are also in turquoise who, or who are ready to get into turquoise. There is a strong urge to find or found even a community that enables that. But it's not necessary and it's very unlikely that you find one or that you are able to found one. Because most people who are interested in that are centered in green and they first have to get to yellow. Well, yellow people are still too fascinated with acquiring knowledge. They're not ready to let go of it. The next point, focus on the good of all living entities as integrated systems. That's completely correct. Yeah, It's a very positive, very optimistic worldview. And you see that all livings are equal 
and that the good of all is the best way. It's the view that there's enough for everyone, more than enough for everyone. Everyone can live in peace and harmony, which is the green dream. But green is a reaction to something, while turquoise is an action, with the overview and ability to do something about it. The next point, expanded use of human brain, mind, tools and competencies. Yeah, mind, I don't know, mind and brain, that's again very RNG. Anyway, expanded use of human competencies. That's true. Um, through your intuition, you can do all kinds of things. And through your relaxed non-action, you allow things to happen that otherwise you would not have seen or prevented by too much action. In turquoise, you're very fascinated with manifesting or very appalled by manifesting, one of the, those two. Some try manifesting and some try to go with the flow and not do anything that is not coming as an intuitive suggestion. The next point, self is part of a larger conscious spiritual whole that also serves self. There's too much self in this sentence. The self is the personality and thus it has no importance anymore in turquoise. If there is still a strong sense of self then either you're not in turquoise but in green or yellow or the sense of self is something that is connected or part of something higher, larger, like the divine or whatever. But the sense of separation is going away. Otherwise, yes, the sense of something larger, conscious, spiritual, whole, something that we are all part of, yeah, the whole world is one. This is not an idea anymore, but a feeling, a sensation, a certainty. The next point, global and whole spiral networking seen as routine. Global networking seen as routine. That's yellow. That's not uh, turquoise. Networking and routine, those are not turquoise words. But global, okay. And whole spiral, there is no upward journey. All colors are equal. They're all important. And turquoise is not the last color either. But yes, you do have a clearer view on all colors beforehand. Beige, purple, blue, red, orange, green, yellow. They're very clear to you now. At this point you might also lose your interest in spiral dynamics. No, it's not that you find spiral dynamics through turquoise, but it's more likely that you found it before in orange, green or yellow and that it helped you to go towards turquoise. I think spiral dynamics is a great tool to get from green to yellow and sometimes even a tool to get from yellow to turquoise. The next point, acts for minimalistic living, so less actually is more. That's a green idea. That's wrong. Doesn't matter in turquoise. You lose the interest in money and at the same time you can decide to earn a lot of money. Why not? But to decrease your needs and be a minimalistic ascetic monk so that others can have more that's a green idea there's enough for everyone from the turquoise point of view so there's no reason why a turquoise person should decrease any material needs or wants or wishes you start to not need external means of luxury or confirmation anymore things like fame and wealth but you're also not against them why not have them why not live comfortably you wouldn't take anything away from someone else or begrudge them anything but there's no need 
to begrudge yourself anything. The description of the peak phase, there's always an initial phase, a yellow turquoise phase, for example, then a peak phase, it's turquoise, turquoise, and then there is a fading out or exiting phase where the next color already starts, like turquoise coral. So the description of the peak phase here is quite nice. In turquoise, one learns not only through observation and participation, but through the experience of simply being. The person trusts intuition and instinct, allowing the mind to process with both the conscious and unconscious selves as co-participants. Yeah, the beginning is correct. Uh, learns through observation, participation, experience and simply being. That's true. Trusts intuition. Yes, trans, trusts instinct. Instinct is something very different. Instincts are very important in beige, purple and red. Instinct is, for example, I should not eat that. That's not healthy. Or someone is following me. Or someone is watching me. Or this is good for my baby. Or this person is friendly or hostile towards me. I can trust this person or cannot trust him or her. These are instincts. There's nothing to do with turquoise. This is the usual confusion of first and second tier. The first tier is instincts, second tier is intuition. Then conscious and unconscious selves. This is green new age psychology blah blah. There is only one self, it's called the ego, the personality, and it's not of importance anymore from here on. Another quote, the peak turquoise meme moves among previous systems in a fluid manner. That is, we believe a central difference between first tier of subsistence and second tier of being series. Yes, but that's true for every color. Every color you have been centered in already, where you live through all the three phases, entering, peak and exiting, you can relate to later as well, because it's, as Claire Graves pointed out, an onion system. You integrate color after color after color until the cake is full. It's more cake dynamics than a spiral dynamics or an onion dynamics. But spiral sounds cooler. And then here, handling divergent but simultaneous realities is no great problem for turquoise. That's true. Since you start to get free of duality, one thing is not necessarily excluding another. You can think parallelly different possibilities, realities, options, futures, ways, paths, and so on, methods. You can all view them simultaneously and parallelly. You don't have to do or learn or understand one thing after the other, you can do this at the same time. Then, Turquoise embraces a global communitarian sense without attacking individuals' rights to be. This is a very um, green with a little bit of yellow. Huh? Embraces global communitarian sense, yes, without attacking individuals' rights to be, yeah, of course, yeah, duh. And also, which self, yeah, individual. The individual is a personality, an ego. Everyone has the same right to be, and at the same time, it's questionable if they exist the way they define themselves to be. Then, Turquoise discovers a new version of spirituality. The new version of spirituality is waking up. Now, you don't have to wake up in turquoise, but it's quite likely because the setting is right. Everything points to waking up, screams wake up. This is the new spirituality. Yeah? Instead of practicing things for years and decades and secret knowledge and so on, watch my video about ancient secret knowledge, you know that it's just there 
it's all just there for the taking. There are no secrets and reality and truth is very simple. You just have to wake up. Then, turquoise life experiences show that one can never know or understand all things. With this acceptance comes wonder, awe, reverence, humility, unity and a refreshed value for simplicity. Yes, this is true. Only that it doesn't matter that you can never know or understand all things because with intuition you have access to everything all the time whenever you want. So this is the color where you train your intuition. Now, intuition is being trained by listening to it. It's a very, very soft voice. No voice in your head that insists on something or causes fear can be intuition. Intuition is a very gentle voice that suggests a certain kind of action. And if you follow it, you will know later that this was correct and this was the voice of your intuition. If you never follow it because your mind and your fears are too loud and too insisting, then you will never know what your intuition is. So try it out. Try out to follow what you think is your intuition and then this way you can train it like a muscle. But yes, there is acceptance, wonder, awe, reverence, humility, unity, simplicity. These are the sensations and emotions that you experience in turquoise. Now this sounds all very great, but every color has its difficulties and traps. The trap is of course to stay there because it feels kind of nice and harmonic and peaceful and optimistic. And the danger is to start to talk about it and teach too soon. And then you fall back to yellow. Another thing is the need for a spiritual community, for a place to belong to, because you feel very, very alien by now, because you know you're one of less than one million people who think and feel and experience reality the way you do. So maybe one in 10,000 or one in 100,000 people you meet will have experienced turquoise. And you're still a human being, so you feel the need of belonging. And if that need of belonging has been very strong in your personality before, then here it will also be very strong. And it can be a real torture because it is so difficult to find other turquoise people. And if you meet a coral person, this is even worse, because coral is usually very negative or nihilistic. So you might not even be interested in meeting such a guy or such a girl, because it sounds too negative to you. So you're running away from the direction you would necessarily need to move towards to get on with it. The equilibrium is always the block of the future. If you feel too comfortable now, there's no point in moving on in your mind. But turquoise is only the first step. Turquoise has many similarities with teal, the color next to and after coral. And turquoise is the preparation for teal. And turquoise is the preparation for coral, which is a horrible time. Coral is the jumping into the abyss, into the unknown, throwing everything overboard and being completely open and receptive for new things. So instead of moving into the scary coral, you stay here in the harmony, turquoise, everything great. And if you don't find any like-minded people, you just start something yourself, some spiritual community or group. And then you get stuck in being a teacher. And being a teacher is a very un-turquoise thing, because for you everyone is equal. So the only thing you can do if you stay there is either to move to yellow or coral. This is why... 
in some traditions like Tibetan Buddhism and so on, a monk has to meditate in a cave now and then or in a room by him or herself for up to three years. This is an ego damper. You're coming back towards the essence, away from being a Rinpoche or Lama or whatever. You need some kind of hold on on the new reality and you will be exploring this new reality like a stranger in a strange land. And you can try out all kinds of things. And as always, there is the danger of feeling special. Once you know that you are a very rare species now, there's the danger that the ego wakes up again and says, ah, I'm special after all. And then you're back in green and can start anew. Okay, I see this video is much too long already. I think I've explained it now quite well. Don't hesitate asking questions or leaving your comments below. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you for subscribing. Hit the bell button and see you soon.